The people in organizations make decisions constantly, every day. Simply put, a decision is a choice between two or more options. The way that we make decisions and the quality of our decisions are largely influenced by our perceptions. Throughout the entire decision-making process, there are different perceptual errors that can bias how we think, feel, and react to situations. Inaccurate perceptions can prevent us from even being aware that a problem exists. They can make us pay attention to the wrong information or irrelevant information. And they can hinder our ability to interpret and analyze data, much like attributional errors, decision-making errors can occur below our awareness. The rational decision-making model has a few assumptions that do not represent how humans actually behave. This model assumes that people are unbiased, that they make decisions based on complete information, and that they choose the best option. None of these assumptions are supported by the research. People are biased, they rarely have all of the information that they need, and sometimes they choose the option that is most convenient or cheapest or meets some other subjective criteria. Step one of the rational decision-making process is to identify and define the problem. Step two is to identify the decision criteria. Step three is to allocate weights to the criteria, which criteria are most important. Step four is to identify the alternatives, the different options from which to choose. Step five is to evaluate each one of those alternatives. Step six is to select the best alternative and then implement it. Once it's been implemented, we evaluate the outcomes. Did we meet expectations? If we did, we continue with our course of action. If we didn't meet expectations, we go right back to the beginning of the process, identify the problem, decision criteria, and so on. Remember, though, that the problem with this particular model is that it assumes we make decisions through a step-by-step -step process in a rational, consistent manner, which we know is not always true.